Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Diafne. If you're new here, welcome, bienvenue, and thank you for clicking on today's video. As you can see by the title, we're going to do a quick chit chat. Get ready with me. It's like about 10 to 15 minutes using about eight products. So it's pretty quick and you're not using much. So let's get into it. It's a very nice, summery, springy, simple makeup it's always simple makeup with me but you know let's get into it so i'm going to do my makeup in 10 minutes you guys and i'm going to try to chit chat with you guys although i don't really have a topic so i'm just going to just talk along i guess next time i'm doing these i should write something on instagram and ask you guys what topics to talk about but whatever products I'm using, I'll probably quickly show you guys, but mostly I'll put it on the screen for you guys. Um, this makeup should definitely, it's a quick makeup. So I'm going very natural with it. And I know you guys don't really like makeup videos on my channel. You like mostly the fashion videos and the little vlogs that I do but not really the makeup the makeup doesn't get that much views but i do like makeup so the tricky part about doing your makeup in 10 minutes is or actually doing your makeup while talking to the camera is uh actually doing the makeup and talking at the same time it's actually kind of hard it's very tricky so i applaud the people who do it and do it well so i don't really know what to talk about so i'm going to talk about the different topics i'm thinking of bringing to my channel well not really different topics really just like other other parts of me that i guess i can share with you guys like the nursing part um, I'm thinking of bringing some nursing videos here on this channel, not like teaching you how to do nursing procedures or anything, but like videos like tips to survive nursing school, um, what to know before getting into nursing school. I was actually very inspired by Nurses Week that just passed and also... All the nursing graduates I've been seeing on my timeline it's actually very inspiring and also I don't know if you guys knew but I was in school for my master's degree I was actually pursuing the nurse practitioner route but when COVID hit um, because I am a nurse and I was working COVID floor when it first hit um, it got a little hectic for me so I kind of stopped well I did stop and it's been a year now so I want to go back to school but I'm really thinking of redirecting my major to um, nursing informatics instead of nurse practitioner what I realize is that I love nursing and I love what I do but I don't really love the whole bedside hands-on part of it or maybe because I've been doing this for about seven to eight years I'm probably just looking for something newer like you know when you get bored of doing the same thing although right now I'm more in management than I am doing bedside nursing Oh, this was this is a little light so I'm gonna try to blend it as much as I can um, like I was saying I'm more in management than bedside nursing I am a unit manager at a, a rehab facility but um I'm really just thinking of doing more nursing informatics and things if you guys 
never heard of nerfing in informatics because I realize it's not something that's really talked about. When you hear of nursing and you hear of master's degree in nursing, you mostly hear nurse practitioner or a nurse educator. You don't really hear nursing informatics. So I can do like, you know, something or you hear like a midwife, um, you know, but you don't hear much about nursing informatics, but I really, um, I'm really thinking of doing that instead. So yeah, if you guys know anything about nursing informatics, um, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about that um, part of nursing. Because honestly, as a nursing informatic, you know, major or masters in nursing informatics can kind of serve you, I can say, you can transition completely to a data analyst if you no longer want to do the nursing aspect of it. So because of that, I think it's a great career to actually look into. So that's what I'm gonna do. Actually for me, it's more than looking into it because I think I've already made up my mind. That's what I'm going to do um, moving forward because I can tell that, you know, the hands-on bedside nursing is no longer for me. And as a nurse practitioner, I'm pretty sure there are different routes you can do. Whoa, what? what? Oh my gosh, I just can't. I'm pretty sure there are different things you can do, different routes you can take as a NP, but I rather just do my master's in nursing informatics and have the option to transition into just a data analyst. And also you guys, like, I just feel like, you know, I just, I just want to do more. You know, when you feel like you just want to do more, I really think that's my issue like i feel like i'm not doing enough you know what i mean anyway that's just one topic um i'm bringing nursing into the channel you know and what else i wanted to tell you guys i'm trying to grow like really grow here on youtube my goal is to have ten thousand by the end of the year i know i only have 700 now and that's like a stretch but listen with consistency i can do it so that's what i'm aiming for that's really 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 what i'm aiming for so I don't know if you guys know this, but I've been very consistent. So I would really, really appreciate it if you guys share my videos, like really share my videos, subscribe when you guys are watching. If you enjoy the content, if you find something you like, you can also leave suggestions down below if you want to see something like if I'm not, you know, if I'm not producing a content, but you want to see it. You can leave suggestions, you guys. Like, I love when you guys tell me you want to see something. Like, someone told me they want to see a Lulu's haul. I was happy to see that. Someone told me they want to see a Get Ready With Me Nursing Edition. Like, going to work. How I get ready for work. Um, I'll be happy to film that as well. So, I think, like, my nursing routine going to work. So, I think, you know... Those are great suggestions, and I'm just very, very, very happy to film them for you guys. So, leave more suggestions for me down below. Um, you guys really, really like my luxury video as well, like my luxury haul video. So, I'm really thinking of bringing like a monthly. Maybe not a monthly, because I'm not trying to spend a lot, a lot, a lot, but maybe every other month collective haul. Let me know what you guys think about that. I think that would be very good. I've seen Aaliyah's face do it, and Asia, Asia Nari also does collective hauls, you know, instead of just doing one haul here, one haul there. They just combine everything together, and at the end of the month, they show you what they bought. I think it's pretty nice. I think I'm going to do one for May, and then we'll do 
May, June. We'll do one in July. You know, no matter what. Like, I want to include everything. Like, if I bought a perfume, you know, a candle, like household things. Not like crazy things, but things I know you guys would be interested in. So, let me know what you think. Okay. We're almost done, you guys. This makeup is literally 15 minutes. And I'm going to try my best to not cut too much so you guys can see the actual time. And I'm not using too many products either. I'm literally almost done. I wanted it to be more like glowy, like nice, bronzy, but not like too cakey. So that's why I used Fenty Beauty. If you want it to be more full coverage, you can definitely use the NARS foundation. I actually did a review on that one. I'll link it up here for you guys. It's pretty, oh my gosh. I put mascara all over my nails, talking too much. Let me just, I feel like the chit chat get ready with me's are kind of, hard to do because you need topics like you can't just sit here and say absolutely nothing you know what i mean like that's just weird i mean of course i'm just like rambling but i feel like you guys kind of want me to say something you know at least that's what i think i don't know Guys, I'm not kidding you. This took me about 15 minutes. And I used less than 10 products. Like, excuse me. And if I wasn't talking, I probably could have been done a lot sooner. Let me know what you think about this. Do you think it's cute? I think it's cute. My bronzer served as like a blush and a bronzer at the same time. The so one, th one thing I'm going to do is kind of like scope my face just a little bit more. Like not a lot, but a little bit more. Right underneath. Right here. Ooh. Ooh. Right there. And then I'm going to use the brush. Wow. This is... You guys, I'm so sorry if you hear a lot of talking in the background. My mom is here. My brother is here. There's a lot of activities, a lot of talking, a lot of a lot. So excuse me if it's not super quiet, but we have people here. The only bad part or not so good part I kind of feel like I could have done differently with this makeup is the under eye. It was just a little too bright. But let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Anyway, I would love for you guys to kind of leave me some topics, things for me to talk about. You can DM me. I'll leave my Instagram up here. <laughs> follow me as well you guys know um let's see yeah so pretty much that's it for the video i talked about a lot of nothing but i just wanted to do and show you guys a quick makeup look very simple very nice for spring transitioning into summer nothing crazy and i use about eight to nine products i'll list everything down below and i'll put them on the screen for you guys of course so you can know what i used and that's pretty much it. That's the end of the video. I'm not going to lie to you guys. <laughs> well, this is the end of the video. I want to thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.